you can see why I wanted pigs on. Just turning it over, getting rid of weeds and everything. Look, weedy, turned over, nicely broken up, good crumb structure. Like this soil, I actually put a lot of work into. There's loads of stuff through it. Hello. Is that I'm hungry? Yeah, that's I'm hungry. Well, get you fed. Well, as I was saying, now she's uh, nice and fed. Uh, that's just the, the pig um, feed me. Like, that, that's essentially their way of talking. Like, if she was really hungry, you'd hear a bit of a squeal. But anyway, back to the soil. So, yeah. I spent a lot of time getting this soil to where it is, digging in compost and everything like that. And that's about as good of a growing medium as you're going to get. Uh, really good in nutrients, good balance, every, everything there. You know, it's like, that's a soil. A lot of people think compost is soil, but it isn't. It's just organic matter. It's good and it's really good for enriching soils, but if you want to grow stuff, you want that. A good crumb structure, a good, good balance of sand, clay and organic matter. Nicely aerated. Yeah, I can't wait to start growing something here. I just need her to do more work, don't I? But once you have piglets, they'll all be out here tearing it up and then we'll have all this turned over, ready for veg next year. Oh, well, I was hoping for this year, but that's just not come to pass. But when you work with nature animals, your plans aren't what necessarily happens. So now Princess is fed. It's time for me to go and feed myself and then I'm going to come back and try and tackle this a bit. Um, yeah, and then I can uh, do the... I suppose the... Uh, closing ceremony for the diaries this evening I think. So I've just popped down to check on the pond and as you can see there are a lot of fish in here. Got to be quiet so I don't disturb them. Well, I'm getting that cut up and then uh, all day breakfast and a pint. Last one before retreat, so I'm going to really enjoy this. I've even got a nice fresh duck egg on there. I have to say, I am properly impressed. That, is, I, I didn't start down at pub when I tried a couple of weeks ago. Just put a bit of extra like new fuel in. Second pull started. I'm going to show you the body, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear me talk over there, but it's knackered but I think it's worth fixing. If it can survive, I'd say at least five to six years out with no care. I've been looking after it and it starts first or second time. I think it's unkillable. The body's completely collapsed, but I reckon she might be fixable. Well, as it's the uh, last video, I thought we should probably sit and enjoy a bit of a sunset together. And she works. There's currently a pie growing at the shovel, but now I've got it working up and running. Fish have been fed, so while they'll be happy. Happy, happy days. Well, just come here to collect the little ones, not these ones. My little ones are in there, but I'll have to get them out in a second, but how cute are they? Super cute. Super, super cute, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> how? cute are they and how well camouflaged are they against that, that hay yeah four little baby quails they're coming home to stay with me yay on the scale of one to ten on the cuteness front this is like a hundred they're amazing and now i can see them they're in their fish tank they were a little bit confused to start with by being in a new environment but they've soon got used to what, what's going on and everything Hope uh, Trey doesn't mind, but I've used a little thing for a little water jug for them. If they're that little, I've had to build the ground up around it so they can easily eat. Oh, they are so cute. That is sick, that. Imagine this one just pinged off into that gazebo now. No, it's, it's very controlled. No it was doing it really going, woof, and it was just missing his chin every time. But you have to have a long time, like a lot of... Uh... 
Yeah, they spent you, yeah. What do you think to that, is that? It's fucking nuts. Is this a fire to his fucking chin? No, no, no. Yeah, it's good. Go on, mate. The fucking garden and don't get into a fire escape. Not, is it, is it, has it got enough on it? Yeah, yeah. I'll give him this. Here's it's Matthew, the fire starter. The twisted fire starter! Maybe take the jacket off. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Hold on. Don't try and don't. spin them. No, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, no, don't burn the benches. Oh. Jimmy, don't burn the benches. Selfies, Jimmy, there's a gazebo. Matt, there's a gazebo there. Gazebo, stay away from it. Yeah, I told you not to, mate. Right, what are we up? Sleep. 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 Yeah. Sleep. Uh, I'm not good at that. Yeah, it's good at this, mate. Wow. I'm doing that. Sleep. Go on, son. The prodigal son, Matthew Whitaker. Right, I would video him, but I won't be cock out. This video is on top. Go <laughs> on, lad. I'm very impressed by that. Matthew Whitaker, oh, cool, the man of many talents. Yeah, he's fucking talented. You can blow a fire. You can grow a beard. <laughs> Please set your beard on fire, Matt. No. Yeah, that's Hang on, let's see how close. Yes. Oh, hey! <laughs> right, hang on, let's blow, get his side fire, on. Matt. Blow some fire. Well, boys and girls, that's day 109, and I'm sorry to say, but that will be the last day of the lockdown diaries. Um, I, you know, I've enjoyed doing it. It's, it's really helped keep me sane in a lot of ways, but also. Doing a video every single day has been, you know, quite trying to be honest. Because you know, I, I didn't know I was doing any of this at the start of it, so I've had to sort of learn that. And then it's sort of just the time and everything. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I have, I've enjoyed it, I, and uh, it's been nice sort of showing people the ins and outs of the realities of what goes on and what what I get up to and all that sort of stuff. So that's been really cool. I hope I've given some people a bit of a taste of sort of the realities of this rather than just the niceties because I think there's, there's a lot of people just going oh it's lovely and it, it, it is lovely I absolutely love it but it isn't all just goodness you know I mean there are some pluses and minuses as, as with everything in life and I just want to give a bit more of a true and full account of uh, how, how things go and what you have to do and to be honest like I, I probably compound the fact because I am doing it on my own which does make things a lot more difficult but yeah it's just one of where I just sort of a little bit of a realistic view on things I suppose um, but yeah, I'm like really, really pleased to have got the, the pub, pub pond done. So I was struggling with the alliteration there. But yeah, really glad to get the pub pond done. Uh, the fish are really happy. That None of them have died, which is very surprising. And Ali's very happy about that. Uh, Prince is coming along. I need to get my little sheepies back. But I'm going to do that this week. I've just been waiting for the grass to grow. So they've got plenty to eat when they do come back. Obviously, I've got to wait to watch these little buttes grow up. Oh, they're brilliant. And uh, yeah, well, I'll, I think I'm gonna, still going to do like a weekly update. Uh, if people want me to, you know, I mean, I don't want to start, you know, doing stuff that people aren't interested in or whatever. But doing a weekly update of what's going on at the holding, what I've been up to, what I've been doing, and you know, to be honest, I don't mind giving a couple of three hours a week to this. It's brilliant, and if it keeps, yeah, well, it's, it's nice just doing it. To be honest, and for me, I'll, I'll, I'm capturing this, and I'll be able to look back when I'm old and knackered and decrepit, and look at what I've actually done. So, it's yeah, it, it'd be, I'm, I, yeah, I'm still going to do it. Uh, so there will be a weekly update. But I just want to say to all those that have actually watched all the way through, thank you very much. Uh, it's really helped me to know that there are, you know, I'm doing something that people find good and of value. Um, I will say now, I will get that footpath finished. If I do not get that footpath finished, anybody listening to this that sees me from now on till time immemorial can give me stick for not doing it. So I want to make sure that it's there and safe for, well, everyone to pass, but particularly for the elderly gentleman that I know very well. I don't like the thought of him not being able to move freely around his area. Uh, because you know the, the footpath's got dirt on it, which is essentially what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, yeah. What's what's tomorrow going to offer? To be honest, a hangover. Um, but yeah, I, once again, thank you very very much. And normally I'd sign off by saying what the one day one hundred and ten got to offer. But let's see what this week's got to offer. Oh, actually, I'll just let you know that um, part of the reason I'm taking this week off is I'm doing a sort of a self-imposed retreat. Uh, you know, I've always sort of. Not always, but struggled with mental health for quite a long time. Not not drastically better over years, but you know what I mean I, I normally go away on a, a retreat once a year for a week, do yoga and meditation and healthy living and all that sort of stuff, and 
close off from the world and nobody can contact me and my phone's away and all that for a week but this year that's impossible because of covid so i'm gonna try and do it at home so yeah i'll be trying i'm sort of i might say myself to an extent but if any of you are just at a loose end and fancy popping down uh bob down to the holding or my house and see me uh i'm i'm thinking about turning my phone off and everything so people can't contact me just so i can basically focus on myself for a little bit which you know I've never really, well, I don't, I've not never really done, but I only do for one week a year and I need to give myself that week. So I, I do need to take this week, but it would be very good to see some of you and just see, see how everyone's getting on. And now people are allowed to free, move freely and they don't have to excuse themselves. Pop on down whenever you want. Um, I'm planning on getting the holding, looking pretty this week, not doing any heavy graft, but just painting things and making it look pretty. So hopefully it'll be a much prettier place for you to come down to and you know, you'll be able to see what I've been up to next week. But yeah, I suppose for now that's uh, Matt signing off from Lockdown Diaries and well, let's see what the future's got to offer. After listening to me talk for so long, you deserve this. Oh, preening each other. Oh, and just for Kelly. Oh, that's how warm that little area is for them. And also, thanks to everyone that's given me materials over time and those that have helped me out and just even given me wide words over the time. Oh, and definitely, how, how could I forget my carers? Those that have been giving, like, dropping me food off and everything like that, I thank you so much. Like, I've really not been eating enough over the last while, to be honest, because I've just been focusing on getting stuff done and I've if you've got my mum's jeans and we both do that like if you're goal orientated and food's not necessarily a goal so genuinely it's been a massive help and there'll be probably some days where I've, I may not have eaten basically all day if I've not got that plate of food delivered so thank you very much and that's part of this week is me getting into better routines and all that sort of stuff so yeah don't panic I'm actually trying to do and sort everything out but once again thank you for those that have supported me and helped me along and words kind words and so on and so forth because well what the world needs, a little bit of extra kindness.